leave it. It's Brian. It's uh, December the first. We're still on December the first. Uh, early in the morning, I uh, loaded, uploaded some videos from a trip down south to uh, South Island, New Zealand, uh, Dunedin. Uh, we had a quick um, few days away, um, and while I was there, I managed to <coughs> in find a, a, a bigger chip for my camera to increase my uh, recording capacity. Um, so uh, we can now. Uh, say a bit more um, technology I'm using is still quite limited however um, having um, quickly um, dashed about the city of Dunedin and showing you some of the uh, places of interest uh, and talked a little bit about one of the um, more interesting events that took place in Dunedin when uh, Professor Lloyd Gearing was Dean of Knox College and uh, he uh, was put on trial for heresy. We showed you a picture of um, Knox First Presbyterian Church in Dunedin. Lovely old stone church with beautiful stained glass windows. Uh, and the controversy um, that uh, surrounded the heresy trial. Uh, nothing new, mind you, in the world of theology. Just sort of new here in New Zealand. And, of course, anyone who... Uh, had been listening to the theologians after the First World War on the Western Front when uh, they proclaimed that God was dead uh, and Nietzsche had said it um, so you know there's quite a, a sort of tradition certainly Lloyd Gearing had not said anything new but uh, I think he kind of gripped the uh, uh, imagination of popular culture that's the, the truth of the matter and the uh, philosophers and the theologians have been sort of more or less talking amongst themselves up until that time and Lloyd Gearing uh, took it down into the marketplace <laughs> and uh, he had people listening to what he was saying anyway um, just want to go back to uh, issues that uh, were of concern to us a week ago and uh, I had meant to actually do a vlog on uh, the latest uh, Guardian Weekly uh, and which is not now the latest but it's um, last week's and on the finance page um, I just bring to your attention one of the headlines where it says that the uh, oil crunch is coming and the International Energy Agency uh, is now saying that uh, due to uh, supply uh, problems, uh, tighter supply uh, has been caused by uh, shrinking investments and we've been talking about the derivatives market and about the uh, financial and economic crisis that we're going through so it's nothing new to those who uh, have been following these videos and even though uh, they have been short we just do uh, sort of little attention grabbing things for people to have a think about and um, actually while I was down in Eden I found a bigger chip for my camera and I can now do um, two three times the size of the videos Need to say I won't be doing that, but it does mean I can run up quite easily to the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Uh, problem is that YouTube uh, capacity to deal with the um, kind of technology that I'm using, uh, high megapixel camera, uh, is very limited. So that won't be happening, but it does give me a bit more flexibility. I don't have to watch the clock so carefully. Yeah, um, the garden uh, that I put in uh, earlier in the year uh, is well and truly established now and the uh, potatoes are growing in the tyres, the old tyres and as the leaves come up, you know, you put another tyre on and um, wait for the uh, leaves of the plant to come through again and it's not long before you've got a couple of sacks if you uh, have enough tyres meter high, wonderful crop, wonderful way of growing, intensive, uh, doing intensive farming. 
So we're back to doing that sort of thing. Not entirely convinced that uh, precious metals are going to save us. Certainly think that access to food is going to be really important. Um, <clears throat> and of course, bloody inconvenient to have the banking system collapse on you. Um, certainly um, one wouldn't want to be too obsessed with possessions and you know I have a few uh, because the danger of them slipping through your hands is you know quite uh, it's quite a, a, a possibility in the uh, environment that uh, we're all operating in so let's not um, fool ourselves about that uh, yeah so I uh, go back again to reiterating some of the principles that I think are important as we uh, confront the serious issue of the global financial, economic, ecological uh, uh, collapse, the overshooting of our carrying capacity, and, and we're talking more about uh, doing things locally, uh, Downsizing the kind of transport you use. If you've got a big car, get a small one. If you can get a, an electric car, good luck to you. Um, I don't think there will ever be very many of them produced. Bicycles are obviously a good solution. Um, if you're having problems like I am from time to time with a knee, uh, bicycles are better. Um, but then sometimes you have to let the old knee rest for a while. And um, I might just, you know, jump into the car or hop onto the motorcycle. That is a very privileged place to be because there's a huge number of people who don't have those options. So down here in New Zealand, we're still able to live in dreamland. And I think, you know, in places in the US and Europe that's taking place, although have been getting messages from people who are telling me they feel that they are in a prison in Europe and they will be unable to escape and unable to survive. So pretty sad uh, communications are coming uh, onto my video channel. No, I haven't talked about them all, uh, but uh, people are struggling, and we do need to uh, network and help each other with ideas on how we survive uh, in this time. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now, <clears throat> but just to say, um, look, uh, difficult times uh, when the uh, going gets tough the tough get going and just remember that um, if you're up and you're moving and you're able to do a bit um, try and spare a bit for a neighbour and uh, you know uh, do the good Samaritan thing wherever you can <laughs>